my relationship with the sea takes a variety of forms. Sometimes I can be out there on my own, in amongst nature. That's a really important headspace for me. But equally, we can walk down from work together and have an unbelievable experience. It's our playground, ultimately. And so, for me, seeing that plastic pollution in the environment where I spend a lot of time, it's really incredibly depressing. On the other hand, the slightly empowering thing about the problem is it's a collaborative responsibility. I think the collective force of our community really can make a change. I spend my time devising ways of getting people to fall in love with the ocean. I've been doing this now for over 15 years, traveling and diving with these big animals. And in different places, I've seen different things threaten them. But what's been the most terrifying for me has been this creep of plastics in the ocean. I've swum around the most remote places you can find. And in this very remote place, we find huge clumps of trash, of nets, of all the microplastics left behind. And I just start feeling this overwhelming sense of how far, how far do I have to go? How deep do I have to dive to actually find a piece of ocean that's not been affected by this problem? We are passionate about the ocean. We live and breathe this sea. The 70,000 volunteers we work with every year share the same motivation being driven by the ocean. And every piece of plastic we take off our beach is a victory. But we can't just pick our way out of the problem. We need to look upstream at how we can eliminate plastics at source and stop them getting on the beach in the first place. I'm often up to London to meet big businesses, government and other stakeholders who can actually create the new systems and the new future we need to stop plastic pollution at source. In my job, there was an option to make change. New Year's Day, I was walking on the beach. We were in the middle of nowhere, but this beach was absolutely littered with bright colours. As we got further up, the plastics got smaller and smaller. These particles were fragments, speckles of colour. At that point, my heart just sank because I couldn't actually pick up what I needed to pick up. And it wasn't really till I stepped away from the beach that I realised, actually, this is why I get out of bed in the morning. This is why I do what I do. As much as I can't clean that beach up today, by re-engineering these textiles, I can hopefully prevent somebody in however many years' time feeling that same despair that I felt on that beach. I think it's really important that we as a brand work together with activists, with conservationists, with scientists, because ultimately we are a community that can stand together and take action against microplastic pollution.